Hi, my name is Erica Steves, product stylist and commercial photographer. Today I am on set with Mike's Barbecue Rub. Super excited. He has a full line of products and I'm really excited to do some more food styling. But first, um, he really needs some product photos for, to display his images on his website. So I'm doing a full update of all of his images. And I wanted to show with you some pointers on how to shoot product photography for glass bottles. But being a better product photographer makes me an even better creative photographer because I understand how the bottles need to be lit and what you need to do to be able to enhance your image even further. So let's dial in that today and I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on what I do to do product photos for uh, glass bottles and reflective surfaces. Anyway, let's get started on today's video. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. A new video will be launching every Tuesday where I take you on set with me and I share all this really great information that I have and I think it could be really helpful for you to work on your photography as well. Um, if you are a small business or if you are a photographer, these, all of these tips are perfect and you can do them from something as simple as an iPhone all the way up to professional camera equipment. Um, and everything in between. I really believe that photography should be obtainable for all. So if you mirror some of these different things that I'm explaining today, you'll be able to enhance your photography as well at home. Um, so what, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, or if any of the points really message or like resonates with you and really makes a difference, I would love to hear if you were able to take some great takeaways today. So drop those in the comments below as well. Okay, so a little bit about my setup right now. I am tethering to a computer. Um, I'm using a 60 mil lens. It is my favorite Canon lens that, that is there. Um, I'm using the T6i Rebel uh, with Profoto lights. I currently have two lights set up, and this is actually just the same lighting that I was using the other day. Um, I didn't change anything. I know that it will be nice and bright. Typically when I do product photography, I just bounce lights, so I'll have two going straight up to the white ceiling, and it will shower down over to give a nice flat lighting. Um, but for this one, I had this large softbox set up for doing a model photography, like uh, shooting on a model. Um, so I just left it up. I, I didn't really see a problem with it. I just want my image to be nice and bright. Um, and it, it worked pretty well, so I, I left it. And uh, I did decide to use a light tent for this because the reflections, I really want to control it and uh, make it really beautiful. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna create natural highlights in the photo so that you can get the dimension of a bottle um, to really help like give that off the page kind of look that you're just gonna wanna go in and grab the, the product off the, the website. Okay, so you can see my full setup that I have here. Um, I have the light tent and then I have some boxes stacking it up to make sure that it clears this little, uh, little bit here. Um, I'm locked off on my tripod and uh, everything's pretty well ready to go. You can see there is some reflections being held in the bottle. Uh, the light tent is creating really nice highlights on the side, uh, which is really beautiful. And everything looks really sharp and really nice. You can even see like the pixels from the printing on the label so you know you are very very focused when when you have when everything is sharp because you have this um, over here I did boost my contrast I even brought my exposure up more I crunched my blacks and I boost the clarity I also did a little noise reduction this is something I also do a lot of times with my editing um, you can see the before and after so this is what it looks like with zero presets in Lightroom. And then this is what it looks like after. Everything is just a little bit more sharp, a little bit more crunched. Uh, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, I am going to show you how you can work on some of these reflections to make the product look even better. Okay, so I know I covered this in other videos, but I can't preach like how important it is to use fill cards when dealing with reflections. And this is how you can do a lot of like editing in camera so that when you do get the photo outside of it, it's gonna be like half the work is done. And this is always the way that I like to work. 
So um, initially I start with a white card to see how what things look like. I have a large, a really, really large white board that I'm gonna use, but essentially you can use anything that's really white and big. Um, I want something that's gonna cover this entire hole and give me enough space that I have for the camera as well. So this, this is what I have just on hand. This is what I'm gonna use. Okay, so you can see here, um, this is the reflection that you're essentially seeing by doing that. That's really the difference between the two. So when I look at them side by side, this one right here has no fill card, but here you literally can see the square of the, the fill card, which is really funny. So maybe what I would do is like hold it up higher, but um, something that I think is really important when you are creating uh, photos for glassware is you either wanna have the sides highlighted in black and then the middle be white or the invert, so the, the highlight line is gonna be more black and then you're gonna wrap it around with the white to really give you that extra dimension to really make the bottle feel like it is three dimensional. Um, I had learned a lot about this when I was in college for uh, design and we would take drawing classes and learning about how light wrapped around different objects and this is essentially what we're doing with this product photography is like we're coloring uh, with light so you can you have a lot of flexibility and you're able to uh, do a lot with it in camera. Um, otherwise, like once you become, when you take the photo into post-production, you can always take a dodge tool or something like this, or you can take a brush and darken to make a strip going down the middle. But uh, I try to do things in camera as much as possible. Okay, so you can see here right away, this is what it looks like when you have a black fill. And I actually really love the, the look of this. Um, what I would probably do in post is I would take this line and extend it all the way up to be to go through here and I would do that through like a clone stamp or healing stamp or something like this so that you have this like nice black line going all the way through and then it's wrapped around with a white and then you can even see like there's a nice dark contrast happening right here. So really happy with how the bottle turned out and um, I'm gonna shoot the rest of the items so that you can see the whole line. Okay, so you can see here a little bit a different angle for my setup. Um, I have the blackboard really canoping over the, the camera. Uh, with the tether, I'm able to press the, the release the shutter from the computer so I don't have to worry about it. And there is enough space that I can access the items fairly easily. So I have my, my next product. I just swap it out like so. And there you have it. So making a setup like this, I think it's really great. Um, when you are photographing, I have different sized items. So you wanna make sure your product is filling the most part of the frame to make sure that you're utilizing all the pixels in the photograph. Um, so I zoomed in pretty close to make sure that that is like, it looks really good. I also have my focus point around the center of the bottle so that there's no distortion. Um, by selecting maybe at the top, you could have like a weird distortion if the product is really big with the, something at the bottom, depending on the lens that you're using. So as a rule of thumb, I always have my focus point in the middle of the product image. Um, I even do this with when I'm photographing uh, on model or anything like this. So this rule applies across the board. Additionally, uh, you start with the largest one so that you don't have to move your camera as much. So I'm gonna be shooting other smaller products but I wanna keep everything at the same so that it has the same point of view for consistency across the board when you're shooting. And uh, consistency, I think, is really important when you're doing product photography because it makes you look more professional. So those are a few little tips for me. Did you find this video super helpful? I would love it if you could like this video, share it with a friend, and give me a comment below of any takeaways that you had or questions that you may have come up when you were trying this different technique. 
Thanks for coming on set with me today. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. A new video will be coming out every Tuesday. Stay tuned for next week when I'm going to be showing you the creatives that I'm doing for this client to really like build uh, some different ideas on how he can promote and advertise his his different spices and his rubs and uh, barbecue sauces and the whole product line really. It's really delicious and I'm excited to get dive into doing more food styling. Um, if you have any questions, remember to, you can always drop them in the comments below and I would be happy to help in any way. If you have a tricky product that you don't know how to grasp around the reflection, I can help troubleshoot some of that as well. And as a thank you for tuning in and coming and giving my video some love, I have something for you too. It is my full onboarding process when I am talking with new clients and how I have successful photo shoots. So you can grab the whole workbook below. It is a 12 page like immersive thing where it's all about my A to Z for onboarding clients. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. A new video will be launching every Tuesday. Be sure to tune in till next week. I will be doing the creatives for this client and show you some food styling tips. I'm really excited. I have a lot of really great things planned for you. So make sure you tune in next week to see that video. And if you're seeing this down the road, just click to the link at the end of the video and you'll be able to see the, the, the follow-up video for, for this shoot. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Remember to keep shooting and having fun.